Kia ora koutou, welcome to Face to Face. And this week we have Moira Parker from the Otago Peninsula Biodiversity Group. Welcome along, Moira. Very nice to be here in Wellington, Jeff. So uh, Moira is here to talk to us about the amazing work that's been going on on the Otago Peninsula in terms of eradicating it from possums. So what really is your, is your goal down there? Our goal is to make the whole Otago Peninsula, that's all 9,600 hectares of it, possum free. We've been working at that since 2011, making great strides, divided the peninsula up into five sectors, started at the seaward end, Taro Head, Cape Saunders, working back towards the city. We've employed contractors, we've had community trappers, we're really trying as many or using as many methods as are available to us. So you're not just running them all over one by one in your cars? Not at all. <laughs> but what, it, what is interesting, we do have somebody reporting road kills, and there's far fewer road kills now than there were two years ago. Great. And so, so how many possums have you taken out, as it were? We've taken out 9,600. Wow. Now, those are the ones that we have counted, yeah. but there will be others where the bodies were never found. Yeah. So, th so that's an underestimate of the yeah. numbers. How far are you from a possum-free peninsula, do you think? Hard to know. We're now probably on the, on the tricky time, and that is getting those last possums. Yeah. There are clumps of macrocarpa trees, there are bush remnants, there are areas of Mullenbeckia vine, and there are possums still hanging out in these places. We're making good use of chew cards, which are a great device. Possums will come along and nibble on a flavoured piece of white plastic. Um, this is helping us pin down where those last possums are. So, so at the moment, we're really working hard with our volunteers who are out there putting out lines of chew cards. Fantastic. And then follow up with trapping. And what sort of biodiversity benefits have you, have you seen? We're certainly getting lots of reports from people about how, how much better their gardens are. The roses, of course, they're not getting eaten, but also better crops, apricots on an apricot tree. Previously, the possums got the lot. Better crops of walnuts, more pears, those sorts of things. In terms of a more scientific um, data gathering, we've got 10 by 10 metre vegetation plots in various um, strata of vegetation on the peninsula. Those are monitored once a year using the foliar browse index to see if there's any improvement in the canopy. And we are seeing some slight changes. We're certainly seeing far fewer possum bites and scratches on these individual trees. And so once the, the peninsula is possum free, what's, gonna, what, what's next for you guys? Well, we're already talking about the next pest. Um, we do monitoring for rodents. We've got 14 monitoring lines for rodents. Uh, again, it's volunteers out there four times a year putting in the inked tracking carts. We knew we had to do this right at the start because it's important to see with all this work and all the money we raise, are we making any differences, either, either negative or positive? And, the certain, and we know from scientific studies that in some North Island forests, when you reduce the possums, rats will increase. There's right. a certain amount of competition for food between okay. the two. Right. Right. Hence our rodent monitoring. And we are seeing a slight increase in rats. Mm. So we're very keen to see more residents with rat traps, mm. simply trapping mm. those rats. Yeah. And what, are there, are there dreams of maybe one day having a predator-free peninsula? Is that... Is that being talked about? With all the new tools that are coming on, we think it is. We would love to see a peninsula that is free of animal pests by 2050. That's, that's our vision. Great. Thanks very much for coming in, Moira. Very nice to talk to you. Thank you.